Hi guys, it's Femi here. Um, today is Friday, December 11th, and um, I just had um, a dream about sh- the chauffeur sounding. So I was like in a car, a moving car, and it was in the afternoon, it was a very bright day. So in the car, I looked out the window and looked up, and suddenly I saw many balloons flying from uh, like it was it was like thousands of balloons just like thousands and thousands of balloons um floating from the earth to the sky so when they started floating and i looked up into the sky in my eyes in the dream i said there are angels in the sky but when i squinted at the at, at, at the at the balloons i said oh they're just balloons so I was a bit disappointed. Um, as I was looking, I was like, oh, I thought they were angels. I thought the angels were in the sky. So as I was like getting disappointed um, in, in, my, in my mind in the dream, suddenly a chauffeur, <laughs> a, sho- a giant chauffeur. And you know, like my other, my other rapture dream, it was a blowhorn. I saw the, I saw an archangel, right, with a blowhorn, holding a blowhorn like he was about to blow it. And this time it was a chauffeur. It was a long chauffeur, like it was twisted. And it was a giant chauffeur. It just came out from the cloud, like. But I didn't see, I didn't see any any angel holding it or anything. But I knew that some like an angel was holding it. But I didn't see the angel in my dream. I just saw. The chauffeur just coming out of the cloud and instantly in my spirit like the holy spirit said like to my spirit like the chauffeur is about to blow so as soon as i saw the, saw the giant chauffeur i started rejoicing i said oh also the angels are actually here i just can't see them <laughs> so it's like the balloons were supposed to represent the angels that but i couldn't see them or something like that that was why I, I got in my dream so as i was looking wondrously like i had um even though the car was moving i did something dangerous i had like i wound down the window right and i had come out of the car and i had like brought like most of my body out the window to look up into the cloud at the chauffeur because i was shocked so like as the car was moving like my body was out of the window like i had um you know like how if someone is trying to escape from a window how you climb out so it was like I was climbing out of the window trying to come out uh, trying to come out of the car like I was like that excited but I only got like my bump to the window while I was just looking up looking up at the chauffeur and I was like whoa so the angels are here like so I was I was regaining my as 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 the Holy Spirit I was regaining my excitement so as the Holy Spirit said to my spirit the chauffeur is about to blow and I was looking looking the next thing I just said <laughs> I was so happy, like I was like, oh, the rapture. <laughs> so I had, wait, let me <clears throat> let me say, I, I had. <laughs> like I was screaming, it happened, and that was when I woke up. Like, so it was very short, it was very vivid, it was very clear. And it was just exciting as I like oh wow, I was just like wow I could see everything clearly like I could see this J chauffeur. I was like wow whoa, whoa, whoa. and it was like twisted, you know like how the chauffeur is like twisted when um the the part the part close to the mouth is straight but um then there's a twist right because it's a it's a horn and then um the end is like um wide so it was like a very giant chauffeur. But I didn't, I didn't see any any angels or anything this time. But in my spirit, you just like the Holy Spirit just said, the chauffeur is about to blow, and I just heard the chauffeur blowing, and I was just like happy. It's fascinating, isn't it? And I I I think like when the you know like when when God spoke to the Israelites, He hold on guys, I'm going to pause it and look for the passage of scripture.
Exodus 20. You know, I have my Bible with me on my bed. Um, since I just woke up, it gives details about what happened when, when, whenever God descended in the cloud to talk to um, the Israelites. So it says, verse 20, verse 1 says, and God spoke all these words, right? And then you, you see from um, verse 2 onwards, he's speaking like the Ten Commandments, and then which end at, at verse 17, and then 18, it says, Now all the people witnessed the thunderings, the lightning flashes, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking. So whenever God descends on the cloud um, on earth, there's always music, there's always the sound of a trumpet. Isn't that fascinating? So I just thought, I just thought that was so interesting. There's always sound of a trumpet. So because he's king, remember the Bible says God is a great king. So it's like there's always music accompanied with his um, appearance, like when he's um, trying to proclaim something. And here God was was proclaiming the Ten Commandments and also proclaiming his nature that he's a he's merciful and gracious and everything. So it's it's fascinating. It's fascinating, really. I hope you guys are encouraged by the dream. Just know that. Our redemption draws nigh, so keep looking up. God is faithful. Hold on to your faith to the very end. He is the author and finisher of our faith, so He will see us through. You know, He will keep us faithful. Just keep on doing His will for your life. All right. God bless you all. See you in the clouds. Bye.